Hey, what's up you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing another P.O. Box pickups video slash comic book and figure haul because I have a lot of action figures that I just picked up recently and I want to show those off and I also want to show you what comics I picked up today. I was at Coastside Comics and you're on the coast, you want comics? And by the way, you guys, please don't spoil any of the comics, alright? Last week I showed off some comics and somebody spoiled my Carnage comic, alright? If you're going to keep doing it, I'm not going to show off my comics anymore. Yeah. It's a serious punishment. Alright, anyway, The Astonishing Ant-Man number two. Uh, picked up this Batman Europa, which at first I was like, eh, that's an easy pass for me. And then I saw Azarello and Jim Lee, and then I opened it up and looked through, and the artwork was stunning. So just based off of the artwork, I had to pick this up. Uh, and I also have Batman and Robin Eternal, which has been a good read. I like that one. Uh, the Mighty Thor number one. I actually just finished reading the last issue of Thor's earlier today. I read my comics in alphabetical order. I have like serious OCD when it comes to this. Uh, Todd McFarlane's Savior number eight. Been reading Savior. It's been a good read. And Star Wars number twelve. Been really enjoying Star Wars a lot. Star Wars comics just all the way through have been really fun. And then Darth Vader down or Vader down. Sorry. Vader Down, number one, and this is a continuation from the Darth Vader uh, book that we already have. So, uh, another announcement I want to make, oh, and uh, well, here's the, here's the figures I picked up. I did get the D a couple of DC icons, so I have Batman right here, which I would be reviewing today if I didn't have another job, you know, so thanks YouTube for that, but anyway. Yeah, this I'll have reviewed up tomorrow. I'm incredibly excited to open this. I also picked up Green Arrow. And then I have the other two on hold. I have to think about getting the Dead Man and um, I keep wanting to call him Miracle Man. It's Mr. Miracle, I think. I, I, I'm not really too familiar with that character, so I'm not sure if I'm going to pick this guy up for sure or not. But it looks like a very cool figure. The Green Arrow looks really awesome, though. I mean, both of these look incredible. Cannot wait to open them. And then, um, thanks to Jaime for looking out. He found a couple of Black Series figures I've been looking for. We have my X-Wing fighter pilot, Poe Dameron. And then, uh, whatever the hell this is, Constable Zuvio. Can't wait. All right. And then there's that two-pack out there with Poe Dameron with the Riot Gear Stormtrooper. And I I was thinking about getting it, and I was like, you know, I'm not going to have time to review it. But uh, I don't know if I'm on the fence. And then Jaime picked an extra one up to see if I wanted it. And I was like, no, I'll pass. But you know what? I may pick it up. And yesterday I was at Target. I'm like, you know what? I'm getting it. I, I really actually would I want it, you know? And then... They're all sold out, so I'm going to see if I could still get my hands on it. And then, um, so yeah, uh, this Saturday, thanks so much to the patrons, uh, or the Patreon, yeah, you patrons for making uh, the Big Time Letdown Spider-Man compilation video for October uh, accessible publicly. So that'll go up publicly on Saturday. I'll have that available then. So look forward to that on Saturday, the Big Time Letdown compilation. So those of you who like those, you have the patrons to thank. And then another announcement is the San Jose Super Toy Show is coming up on December 5th over here. So you locals, come through, say hi. I'll have a table. It's Saturday only. So I'm going to have a table for that day. Um, one thing I wanted to do, I wanted to do something a little bit different because... You know, I'm really in full support of the shark art because I've always, I mean, I don't know if I'm good enough to consider myself an artist, but I've always been drawing my entire life. And I'm in full support of people developing their skills as artists and whatnot. And I've been drawing a little bit more here and there. And I thought it would be kind of neat, like, if I had a table to sell uh, sketches. So I did this for Charlita 1. It took me like 15 minutes to make this little piece of, you know, shark art right there. But, you know... It's not the greatest thing in the world. I'm not really the most accomplished artist, of course, like I just explained. And Charlita One gets it. it says, Tunita, you're hot. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I was thinking it'd be kind of neat to do that. And then I could personalize them. And I don't know. Uh, maybe I could use, like, really good paper for it. And, like, charge, like, ten bucks or something like that. You know, not trying to gouge anybody. But I thought it'd be kind of, like, a cool way to, you know, to... to to sell art and kind of make the, the table a little bit more interesting. So I want your guys' thoughts on that. Please let me know. And we have some letters in the P.O. box. And if um, and then I would be able to draw a big-time letdown Spider-Man, do things like that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And I don't know. Uh, uh, let me know what you think. Let's see. 
Or maybe I'll just have like a donation jar or something for the artwork. I don't know. Share your thoughts with me. So I have some letters I'm going to read and then I have this huge box over here which I was not expecting at all so I'm very curious to see what's up with that. Uh, this right here is from Jared Steele. Alright, we'll open up this letter right here. It's very cold here in the Bay Area right now, just so you guys know. Alright, alright, it says October 7th, 2015. Uh, Toys R Hello Hey, Shardimus Prime, my name is Jared, I am 20 years old. I'd just like to say thanks for doing what you do. Ah, you're very welcome, thanks for watching. Uh, because of you, I got back into the figure game. I stopped for a few years in my early teens because I had to buy a car. Well, yeah, you gotta have your priorities straight. For my three-year anniversary, my amazing girlfriend got got my the Kylo Ren Black Series figure. Nice. She thinks the hobby is a bit odd, but supports me in my in my hobbies. Aside of uh, figure figs, I do collect diecast aircraft. Anyway, thanks again for what you do. P.S. Questions. One, what is your favorite version of Cap? Uh, if, if you're talking about, I mean, classic Captain America, of course, is my favorite, the one that's all the way up there. Uh, so, like, face-off, uh, face-off two-pack version of Captain America. But as far as Cinematic Universe goes, uh, first Avenger Captain America. And then, uh, number two, will Hasbro ever do a Marvel Godzilla figure? Marvel wrote his comics in the 1970s. I don't think so, because I know Marvel does not make the Godzilla books now. Um, I think it's IDW or maybe Boom or something like that. It's like another smaller company. But good questions, though, Jared. <clears throat> and thank you so much for the kind words, man. I appreciate it. I got back into collecting at around the same age when I was like, I stopped collecting in my teens and then got back into it when I was 21. All right, this is from. Uh, oh. Oh, Singapore! We got another letter from Singapore. This is Shake. Shake. Uh, forgive the, the mispronunciation. And let's see, open this and uh, open and open and open in this. And uh, let's see here. It says here, dear Shardmas Prime, this is my 25th letter that I've sent to you. My name is Sheik and I'm from Singapore. Ever since I saw your ultimate toy slash figurine display, I also decided to start displaying figurines. I am 14 this year and happy birthday. And I know it's quite late to start displaying figures. Uh, I just wanted to say that you're awesome and hope you and hope you open this letter. Ah, it has been done. Singapore number one fan. I forget, Dude, if you're watching this video, please help me with the pronunciation because I think I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Sheik? Sheik? I, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, man. But yeah, please correct me. And thank you so much for writing, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we got another letter right here. This is from Keegan from Tennessee. And I like the art that we're seeing right here. We get a little bit of Warhees. A little bit of Warhees. And then, oh, is that a... Is that... It looks like... Is that a Big Time Letdown Spider? A little Big Time Letdown Spider-Man? We got some Deadpool and a spider logo on the back. It says, Toys are hella sick. All right. Ooh, and I also have a whole t-shirt design thing going on right now, too, so that was another announcement I wanted to make, is that I want I have an idea for t-shirts, and I want you guys to help me out with the design, and then I'll give a prize to the winner, the person, uh, the person's design that I, I go with. Um, so I want the t-shirt, so here are the parameters for the t-shirt if you're interested in participating in this, and I want to see your, your guys' design. If you want to send... If you want to email me a JPEG of the design, you want to send it to youwantrus at yahoo.com. It's the letter U and then wantrus at yahoo.com. So that's where you send it to. Um, basically, it, I can only use one color, all right? So only one color on a blue shirt. I'm thinking a blue shirt or a red shirt. I'm not sure. So you can decide on that. Um, but it has to say, give it ankle pivot and then it'll have the Shardimus Prime logo at the bottom underneath. Give it ankle pivot, right? So come up with designs, send them to me at youwantrus at yahoo.com and then I'll have a winner and a prize for the winner and I'll use your artwork for my t-shirt design and then I'll have t-shirts available for sale and then I'll have t-shirts available to give away to patrons and things like that. So um, I think, I, I really, I'm personally a big fan of the idea of having a shirt that says, give it ankle pivot. I love it. All right. 
And then, um, now, um, I will be giving Century Productions a cut because I did not come up with the term ankle pivot. He did. So, anyway, um, hey, what's up, Shardimus Prime? My name is Keegan. I'm 15 years old. I think you're the best figure reviewer on YouTube. Started watching your videos in 2012. Your videos have got me past some hard times. Oh, man, that's awesome to hear. Uh, on bad days, I look up your videos and it cheers me up. I don't just look up your videos to see your... Uh, you review figures. I look them up because you're funny. Uh, you're like Stewie from Family Guy and the review spot mixed together. All right. Uh, I like to collect Marvel Legends, uh, Marvel Select, NECA Predators, Aliens, Gremlins, Prometheus, Iron Maiden, Batman, etc., etc. My favorite action figure is the Bad Blood Predator. Uh, what is your favorite horror movie? My favorite horror movie... Oh, my favorite horror movie. Uh, that's a tough one, man. I mean, I like horror movies. I'm not huge into horror movies. Um, damn. I I have to think about that. There's um, damn. I remember Freddy. I think it was Freddy Part Four was like one that I really really liked a lot when I was a kid you know so it's kinda hard to like and then there's like all the new horror movies that came out you know and you mean as an adult I'm not a fan of the paranormal activities I, I, I'm not a huge fan of those I like the Japanese ones a lot and the Asian Shudder is one from Thailand that I like a lot Shudder is a really good one um, yeah I like that one I also like the ring and the grudge I, I liked those Japanese ones so I, I don't know it's hard for me to say man um, I guess growing up, Freddy was just like the coolest thing ever, you know what I mean? So, Freddy was really cool and it terrified the hell out of me. Okay, yeah, so, um, ooh, Night of the Living Dead. I think Night of the Living Dead scared the shit out of me, dude. Uh, zombies, man. Uh, okay, so you don't even know. I think one reason why I love The Walking Dead so much is because when I was a kid, I was absolutely terrified of zombies. Like, it just freaked me out to no end. The first time I saw zombies was in a Miller Lite commercial and they're doing the Night of the Living Dead thing. They're going, Miller Lite! And they're trying to bust through and they're reenacting the black and white version and everything. That terrified me. Michael Jackson's Thriller freaked me out. Especially the whole scene where they all look into the camera like that. Oh my god. Seeing them crawl out of the grave terrified me. So, I don't know. Probably, probably one of the classics. Probably one of the classic uh, zombie movies. Anyway, uh, what's your favorite Spider-Man villain? Mine is, ooh, he's, his is Venom, uh, his is Carnage, mine is Venom. I'd have to say Venom. Hey, and I'm wearing my Venom shirt. Uh, I was wondering if you could review more NECA Predators. I, I yeah, man, I don't know. I, I'll see if I have time, man. It's, I got a full plate as it is. Like I said, having the extra job to supplement the income um, takes more time away from me doing reviews. Uh, I was wondering if you could review, oh wait, and I was also wondering if you had any extra Build-A-Figure parts that you don't need that you could send my way, it would mean a lot to me if you could. I do have Build-A-Figure parts, but I am I have them all like in a bin where I sell stuff at the San Jose Toy Show, which you may be able to go to. Probably not because you're in Tennessee though. And then we have some cool shard art over here, we have, or uh, not shard art, but comic art. We have some Ghost Rider looking really awesome. And, ooh, hey, Venom, thank you very much. I like that. Two. And Colored Ghost Rider. Really digging that one. Yeah, Johnny Blaze. And then Colored Ghost Rider again. Oh, yeah. All right, man, good stuff, man. Thank you so much. Oh, wait, Agent Venom. Nice. I'm liking that. Cool. And then what else do we have? All right, and that's it. Good artwork, man. Sweet, thank you so much for sending this my way. All right, lastly, we have this huge packaging over here. And don't want to ruin these because some tape got on there. All right, I'll be right home. All right, now, I, ha I honestly really have no idea what's inside here. This is from Pedro from, um, from, uh, God damn it, I feel like such an idiot. PR. What? What's... <laughs> What state is PR? Damn it! Oh, I, I feel so stupid. Pencil, there's pencil. Uh, no. Um, PR? I mean, uh, God, I feel so dumb. And and the zip code is definitely East 
coast. Um, wow. I, you know, I'm pretty good with my geography for the most part, but right now I'm drawing a blank as to what PR is. I hate it when that happens. I think the last time I had that with an abbreviation was Attack on Titan, where I couldn't figure out what AOT was. <laughs> so yeah, it'll, it'll probably come back to me. Alright, so what do we have in here? And, wow, I have no idea what, what this is. It says, To Shardimus Prime, Saludos! I have been watching your channel for some time now and recently subscribed as I found myself always looking forward to the big time let down Spider-Man adventures. Keep up the great work on all you do. Thank you so much. As for me, I'm, addic I'm an addicted collector and soon to get married. Ah, congratulations. Soon we'll, you'll be part of the club. I currently need to make some space, limit my collections and whatnot, so as much as I hate to part with these figures, I know they will be in great hands with you. Uh, what you are getting are the R.E.D. Edit Iron Man figures from Sentinel, and although expensive, are totally awesome. I'm sending the first three, and number three was an exclusive. I only displayed one, uh, so two and three are unopened. Number four, War Machine, should be out November uh, 2015, and number five, Hulkbuster, is scheduled for January. Either way, I can't buy everything I want. Again, it's hard to part ways, but I'll feel better knowing you'll take care of them, or at least you'll give them to someone you know will. Sentinel, wow. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit, and this is from Pedro. Oh, from Puerto Rico. Okay, so no wonder I couldn't think of what state. Yeah, okay, so, I mean, it's, uh, it's a, considered a U.S. territory, but not a state. It should be a state because I think they have representatives. Okay, so no wonder I couldn't think of it. Puerto Rico. Wow, man! Oh my god, do you, do you guys know what these are? Holy, I've seen these and have lusted over them like crazy for a long time, but... Oh, wow! Oh, dude! Pedro, man! Wow! Look at this. Oh my goodness, could you see that? I think... That is awesome, the bleeding edge armor right here. Can you see it in there? Wow! Oh my god! And I think these are like select scale. That's number one. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll take. Here, I'll take. Wow! He still has the the white paper around it, dude. Wow, man! Uh, this is incredible, dude. And the extremist armor one right here. What the hell? Oh, that is gorgeous. I think I saw Advocate Pinoy review this one a little while ago. That is awesome. I know you guys can't really see it too well. I, I will do my best to review these as soon as I can. That is sick. Oh, jeez, man. And then here's number three. The Iron Patriot. Damn. Dude. Wow. Oh, this doesn't have the same kind of... Uh, this open in the front? Oh, you can't open it from the front like the other two. But you can see, I mean, we're going to have the, that's the, the packaging for the Iron Patriot right there. Wow, Pedro, thank you so much. This is, this is such a shock, man. Totally unexpected. Dang, dude. Thank you so much, man. And how do you pronounce this? Is this return edit? Is that R-E edit or re-edit? I guess that's the re-edits. I don't know. I'll have to, I have to look that up. Man, thank you so much. These all have the official Marvel logos on them and stuff. Damn. Wow. The Bleeding Edge one just just blows me away, though. Jesus. Dude, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, man. Wow. Uh, I am very grateful. That is incredible of you. These are not cheap pieces. They are very expensive. And for you to send them this way, dude, that is, that is too cool, man. Thank you so much. I don't know, I'll have to decide on whether I'm keeping them all or I may give one away to a patron or something like that. That would be kind of a cool thing to do. Um, however, these are pretty awesome. So, I don't know. I'll think about it. <laughs> I'm not giving everything away, okay? Alright. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for your letters, your artwork, the figures. Thank you so much, man. Uh, if you guys want to send your letters and artwork and your artwork, please do so too. Shortimus Prime, P.O. Box 384, Pacifica, California, 94044. I'll have the Batman figure review up tomorrow, uh, the Ultimate Terminator review up on Friday, along with a Bishojo statue. Ooh, yeah. And then I don't even know what I'm reviewing for Saturday. So stay tuned. Ooh, maybe one of these guys. I don't know. You have to watch the channel. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.